welcome back everyone and this is your easy gentle and restorative pilates workout today we worked so hard with all of our training so it's definitely time for us team to restore and to recover so let's go ahead and begin our session today on our kneeling position take your arms to the front and bring your hips all the way down towards your feet take a deep breath in guys and on exhalation, slowly rise just a halfway, just a halfway, lengthening through the back, through the spine, and then dive back in. We will wake up and warm up our body first with the gentle stretches. Let's rise up one more time, and this time, come on up with me on your fingertips a little bit deeper, stretch for the back, and take a deep breath. And on exhalation, slowly dive back down into your feet. Let's slowly rise up one more time. And this time, come on up and bring your body towards your tabletop. Waking up your hands, your wrists, your back, guys, and your palms in general. All the way back down. Relax and release the tension from the hands. Let's come on up one more time and this time carry over your body weight slightly more towards the front. Just like you're ready to do your simple plank on the kneeling position. Come on back, down. We're gonna do it one more time all together. And if you're ready, when you're ready, go ahead and continue to move to the front. My beginners, you can definitely skip this one and put your elbows on the floor and do this gentle warm-up flow holding your elbows on the ground and we're gonna go one more time all together all the weights in reach up and this time open up as far as open with your ribcage as you can and we will stop in our tabletop position and continue with the gentle shoulders, openers, and stretches. Just give me a few rotations on one side. Just three, four, five, depend how fast or slow you move in. And let's go ahead and do this one on the other side as well. And maybe you will start a little bit more shallow circles and then expand those a little bit wider bigger range of motion very nice let's take our right leg up guys point your toes active legs and draw your knee towards your nose towards your forehead or at least towards your chest and push it back up guys again right. go ahead the knee towards the nose and exhalation very Knee towards the nose. Extend and reach, lengthening all the way from the center. And now, last one. Breathe and flow, guys. Reach, 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 stretch that leg. Then level down towards the 90 degrees above the floor. Check position of your spine neutral. And extend and hold, guys. I know. Give me another breath or two and put your hand on the floor, put your toes on the ground and stretch. Press your right toes right into your mat. Take a deep breath in, guys. And on exhalation, return back up to your table pull position. Take your other leg up all the way. Reach, point your toes slightly higher than 90 degrees and give it a good reach under, knee towards the nose or towards the chin or at least towards the chest. So make an effort, make this movement from the center of your body and push it up again, all the way. Very good. On exhalation, push. We have one more like this together. Extend first. And then level your leg up to 90 degrees. Check the position of your back. Scoop the stomach in. My beginners, you don't have to do your balancing tabletop. 
if you're not ready, then hand your foot on the floor and let's slowly bring the toes, left toes into the ground and stretch straight away and slightly backwards so you feel the hamstring and Achilles getting a good lengthening. Fantastic. Let's slowly return back towards the center. We will continue our warm up with a gentle hip rotation right and left. More like hip rock, but it's not just your hips. This is also a lot of your back. So take your time and just give it a gentle side to side. Sit down all the way. Pay attention. Where do you feel it, guys? That's important. And let's do one more on each side. This is it. Feels so good. And back to the center. Let's take our right leg up again. And let's carry it, guys, through the side or through the front. The way you can bring this leg to over the front. Lean forward into your lunge and keep your both hands on the floor for me. We will hold it for just a few breaths here and then we begin the next flow. We're gonna start to warm up and wake up our hips even more. Hold your foot on the floor if you possibly can. Front knee soft and extended and flow back. Use your hands guys for support. Try to lean all the way down and then all the way back again. This is it. And all the way back to the front. Excellent. We do a couple more on this side. Front knee soft and extended. Back is long and neutral. You can always readjust where your foot is. If it's a little bit too far. And one more. Very nice job. Let's go ahead and carry this leg back all the way. And we do the same exact flow for the other side. Reach and carry over through the front or through the side. However, guys, you can achieve the low lunge position. Readjust your knee above the front ankle and just lean down into those hips and hip flexor and let's slowly extend our knee for the first time try to make sure that your hips are square guys this is perfect and all the way back down and by the way if you have occasional back pains sciatica pains working on the hips stretches are essential of course in conjunction Come on back with your healthy healing back stretches and strengthening for the back is important, but the hips will affect your back a big way as well. All right, we have one more after this. Lean all the way down, guys. And all the way back. This is perfect. And let's come on up. And take your time, guys. Carry this knee all the way back. We continue with a gentle cut and cow stretches. Just a few of them. To make sure that we woke up our back as well. Express fully all the way through the ribcage and all the way back down. And then we will start another good spinal flow for the shoulders and for the back and then i will take you guys to your seated position already go ahead and take the one arm and just simply slide it under just like this perfect and we will dynamically continue to do so i'm on the floor if you can guys and give it a good rotation through the waistline and hips. Reach first, 
and then dive down. And again, guys, so reach first. And dive down one more time. That feels so, so good. So let's go ahead and rise back up. And we go for transition to the seated position. From this seated position, we begin our gentle halfway descent, only halfway, guys. So I want you to put your hands on the sides of your legs and scoop the stomach in, supporting your back. And we slowly vertebra by vertebra we suppress with attention to the powerhouse to the center. We release and we hold, guys, breathe. Come on back up. Try not to help your body to come up too much using your hands and legs. Those hands just on those legs for extra support, but not for the full work. I want you to use the center of your body. Exhalation, rise up back. Very good work, guys. We have a couple more. Exhalation and descent. Take a breath or two here. And on exhalation again, come on back up. When it's challenging, I encourage you to exhale through your mouth. That will make it a little bit easier. But as long as you're breathing, guys, this is all good. As long as you're not holding your breath too much. Come on up. Very nice. Next time, we're gonna go all the way, guys. Go over the ground. Nice and gentle. And release your back on the floor. Take your arms all the way. Go over the ceiling. Press your lower back into the floor. And slowly reach towards the sides of your legs. Opposite direction for what we just did. Activate the center. One exhalation, breathe. Very good. Activate the center. And on exhalation, reach. Activate the center. This time we're holding a little bit longer. Chin over the chest. Lower back on the floor. And slowly release. We will take our arms all the way on the ground this time and prepare for the first Pilates bridge. Press the both feet into the floor, especially your heels. Activate the glutes and we hold in a team. Inhalation, exhalation, both healthy contraction of your glutes. Very nice. And now we're the breath by word of breath. Return your hips on the floor. We're gonna go a little bit more dynamically now. Here we go. In reach, press, heels into the ground, squeeze the glutes, release with full control and attention to the movement. Breathe, squeeze the glutes, on exhalation, slowly release, vertebra by vertebra. Squeeze the glutes, feel the back, step by step, inch by inch, and on exhalation, I know we're moving slower with precision and control, which makes it a little bit more challenging. Hold a bit, feel it off, release and flow, activate the glutes, and all the way back down, I know you're ready for the good quality. Black hog. Let's decompress the spine. So give this leg a good gentle hug. Go ahead and extend. And gently press right on top. Very good. We're gonna take this leg all the way to the side. Open and stretch. Nice job, guys. And all the way, bring it back to the front. Take your arms back on the floor and prepare for the bridge and left hold. So let's make sure that our inner thighs 
looking into each other. Lower that leg enough so the right inner thighs looking into the left inner thigh. Go ahead and put your foot back on the floor and return your spine. Back guys, go ahead and take your other leg and give that leg a good gentle hug. Take a breath or two and extend. And after your extension, try to, of course, hold that knee soft, extend it in long leg, press right on top a little bit. Prepare to take the leg on this side. This toe may or may not reach the ground. Many times flexibility is a little bit very on the right and left side. And we come back up with the leg back up towards the ceiling. Take your both arms, guys, on the floor and simply lift the hips and lower this leg all the way. When you're in your thighs, facing each other. Breathe, point the toes and let's take the feet back, both of them on the floor, vertebra by vertebra. Take your hips back on the ground. Go ahead and take your both legs up, guys, and take your arms on the side. We will continue with the very gentle, semi-shallow circle, one leg at a time, just like this. Nice job. Point your toes, guys. Stay balanced. And give me one more time again. Very nice. Let's do the both of them simultaneously. Like you draw a number eight at the same time with both feet. Mm -hmm. And meeting back in the center. Excellent. All the way. Now let's make this range of motion a little bit bigger. And we draw the legs a little bit forward, bring them back up. Now you can only bring those legs as low as you can maintain the lower back on the floor, of course. Open it up, draw, they meet, you draw them back. Open up. All the way down, finish the circles, bring them back up. Let's do a couple more. And we're going to add a little leg straddle pull all the way. Come on up. Prepare to pull. One, two, three. Return and begin your circles. Bring them back up. Pull, guys. One, two, three. Do it together in circles. Draw them. Feet meet each other, bring them back up. Couple more times like this. One, two, three, four, together. Draw the circle, start on top, bring them back together. For each guys, one more time. One, two, three, all together. Begin the circles. And straight legs if you can. Awesome work. Go ahead and put your both feet 90 degrees above the floor. We're gonna go for the gentle Pilates hundreds, hundreds palms. We're gonna do eight in one single leg extension. My beginners, you can put your toes, your feet, one leg on the floor. Active center. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And extend. 10 flows better than 8. Let's go, guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I want to see a good, strong pumps, guys, when your arm's working. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And extend and hold. Lower back on the ground. Team. Again. And extend. Excellent. Let's do four more. If you have to rest, guys, your hat on the floor and shoulders for a second, please do it. Again, guys. And stretch. 
we go for final two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gorgeous. And let's rest our head and neck. Go ahead and press the front part of your legs. Go over to belly. Good work, guys. And we're gonna go for the legs up to over the ceiling or the rollover, depend on your fitness level. My beginners, you can definitely just stop by taking your legs up to over the ceiling. Prepare and let's dive in. We take all the way back. And on exhalation, since it's our restorative variation, we top the toes, guys. Again, beginners, legs up towards the ceiling, and that would be it for you. The way exhalation. Come on back up slowly, vertebra by vertebra. Top your toes. Let's do a couple of more times at least. You know the way, gentle. Toe tops. One more time. Gently tap your toes and hold them this way. We're going to go for a little bit abdomen work. So I want you to bring your feet back up and imagine, guys, you have a dumbbells in between your knees. My beginners, keep your shoulders on the floor. Intermediate and advanced, join me for lifting the shoulders off the ground. So there is no actual movement in the knees at all. That is why. I ask you to imagine that you have the weight or you hold in little small balls underneath your knees so you can't move your knees. The movement comes, guys, from the lower part of the abdomen all the way. Keep on working. Give me just a few more, two or three. We're not on account. I just want you to give a couple more reps, guys. All the way up. And one more, step, and rest, again, head on the floor, shoulders on the floor, you are pendulum. Keep your knees and feet the same distance as you move, and slowly bring your knees on the floor, or close to be on the ground, and another one. We have about six more, if you move in with me. Gentle, bring attention, extra attention to what's happening in your back. Give me one more on each side. And go ahead and put your both feet on the floor. We will begin with the roll ups with the feet on the ground. And if you would like to join me after a few reps with the Flex extended, we're gonna do that as well. Or beginners, you guys can stay with your knees bent. Open it up. Very good. Good, gentle, open and try not to slam your back. Nice and gentle. And exhalation through the center of your body. Open it up. Let's do two more with our knees bent. More guys. Now, if you're ready, we're gonna do this roll up with extended legs. You don't have to do it, it's a little bit more challenging. You can stay on your knees, band guys. Definitely, Put slowly, vertebra by vertebra. Come on up, exhalation, rotation. One down. Gentle rotation all the way. And we do one more, guys. We will stay seated for now. Excellent. 
sullen jaw. Go ahead and bend your knees, guys, right up here. You don't have to hold your arms extended. You can take them on the floor for support any place you desire. We're gonna go for the leg extension. Again, when your inner thighs meet each other, facing each other, two. It's a great leg strengthening, up strengthening, core, balance, and overall body work. And then I have a couple feel good stretches for you to finalize this quick and effective 30 minutes. Move on Sunday, Pilates practice. Lazy days is not for us. Recovery days is great, but recovery day doesn't have to be a totally sofa lazy day. A little bit movement, always good. Let's go ahead and stretch our legs. We're gonna go for the gentle spinal extension. All the way, guys, reach, raise, touch your feet, or if you can't, don't worry about it. Come on back up. Raise arms all the way along the ears. All the way, guys, stretch and fold. Come on back up, arms all the way along those hips. And stretch forward. Come on back up, guys, all the way reach. And stretch forward one more time. Let's hold it for a few extra seconds longer. And let's slowly Bring our one foot next to the base of the body. And if it's not as close, that's okay. You can put it a little bit farther. We will begin with a gentle half spinal rotation. The same arm, the same leg. Give it a good opening. And then return back and simply pull forward one more time. It might not be as deep and low as you can see me doing it, and that's okay, guys. Try to make sure that knee soft and extended. Let that other knee pull all the way to the side. Through the hip flexor. And come on back up, guys, slowly. We're gonna do this from the other side. Next to the base. And first, the same arm, the same leg. Try to level your shoulders. And gentle opening through the hips, through the back. Good gentle rotation. And let's take it all the way to the front. Make sure you level yourself. And we're folding forward together. Take your time and do your best, guys, to dive through the hip flexor. Mm -hmm. And come on back up slowly. Let's go ahead and meet guys on our knees. We will finalize this practice with the couple feel-good lateral stretches and a couple binds, couple exercises for shoulders as well. Just right and left, they are gentle. Feel so good. Try to keep that arm all the way above your head, guys, not up front of your face. And one more on the other side. Perfect. Go ahead and take your one arm and put the back side of your palm into your lower back. If you can reach, that's awesome. Then the other hand is reaching and we're doing like a gentle pull at the same time when your palm, the back side of your palm continue to push into the lower back for stability. This is it. That's a very sensitive stretch when it's done right. So the back side 
of your palms going into the lower back then the other hand reach into the elbow and we pull in gently on this arm at the same time continue to press the back side of your palm all the way into the lower back that resistance of your open body and go ahead and take it back finally inhalation same and exhalation one more time set this sunday for successful mood successful completion of anything you begin sundays doesn't have to be lazy we're still moving going for the walk for the hiking playing with the kids or a gentle 30 minutes pilates practice we'll do it as well so rest well, recover well, eat well, guys. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. And I will see you all tomorrow for the Sweaty Monday Challenge.